Previously on The Walking Dead. <laughs> You're Javier Garcia, right? The ball player? Can I get your autograph? <laughs> if you could sign my baseball, that would be so awesome. I, I watch you play all the time. Not now, kid. Don't disappoint your fans. No, this is supposed to be quality family time. I'm glad they kicked you out. <laughs> I gotta focus on not embarrassing myself in front of the big baseball star. Right now, I've hit no balls. I know I can do better. <laughs> Too late for that, David. I'm doing my best. <laughs> well, it's out of here. Holy cow! You just had to rub it in, didn't you? Does talking like that make you feel better? Yeah. <laughs> Strike two. Man, knock that shit off. I'm serious. You just talk, talk, talk. It's annoying. I'm not stopping. This is way too much fun. I'm not kidding. Garcia is going ballistic. <laughs> oh, Garcia's on fire. I think your ego's boosted plenty. Ow! Fuck! You gotta shut up. Stupid thing. My arm's throbbing. Oh, come on. Don't be a wuss. <laughs> Oh my god, the crowd is going wild! I got it. You don't have to rub it in my face. I'm done. David. David, knock off the tantrum. Grow up. You just can't resist making your little digs, can you? Once again, it's Javi the star thinking he's better than me. That's gonna change. You don't understand because you only think about yourself. And I'm sick of it. It's been that way for years. You've always been looking out for yourself. I'm just... I'm just sick of your attitude, David. You love to mock me. But you have no idea what I deal with. But if I left... It seemed like that would be best for everyone. I can't keep pretending this is the life I want. Not anymore. I'm not gonna stand in your way. I'm not gonna lie. If I go, it's gonna be hard on everyone. Kate may need help from time to time. You can help, right? You won't leave her hanging? I need to know that. In my mind. It's your family, David, not mine. You gotta stay here to help them. Typical selfish... You don't know shit about family. Understand that Joan's not looking for revenge. She just wants order. Cooperation is the name of the game. There's still a way through this. But you've got to let Joan enforce the laws. I know you Richmond folks are a little flexible when it comes to doing what's right. I don't buckle just because it's the easy thing to do. You talk a big game. But talk isn't going to get you out of this mess. After I brought you in. After I saved your asses. This is how you treat me. Betrayal? Lies? I wanted to follow your plan, David. Kate wanted to escape. She's scared. You're telling me my own wife tried to fuck me over? I don't believe that for a second. You gotta still have some friends here, right? I thought Lonnie was a friend. He turned on me. And you shot him. Any friends you haven't killed, haven't killed you yet. It's everyone out for themselves these days. We wouldn't be in this situation if you paid attention to what Joan was up to. I did my best. I have always done my best. Can't say I never tried. I have always given 100%. Oh, yeah? Tell that to Kate. You left her behind once already. Maybe it's time you try a different way. Shut up! <sighs> you're dead to me. If we get out of here, you're on your own. I'm through with you. Typical brothers, fighting like boys. You're not going to be a problem, are you? I just want a calm discussion between us. If you thought David was a problem, I got news for you. I'm even worse. <laughs> oh, please. And you need to hear about it. 
We both know the real danger here is you. I'm not sure what kind of person you imagine me to be, but it's not true. Those raids were unfortunate, but necessary. <coughs> no one's above the law, David. Not even you. I know the laws, Joan. You're the one breaking them. Your scheme is gonna blow up in your face. Just wait. I really hope not. Where are the patrols? Oh, they're around. I had some close calls on my way to find you. Almost got caught. But I got lucky. That was foolish. You gotta be more careful. You know, I just saved your ass. I'd prefer a thank you. They're gonna be looking for you soon. It's only a matter of time before they find the room empty. And sound the alarm. I won't let them catch us. Because I'm coming for them first. That doesn't sound like the smartest thing I've ever heard, Javi. I want to go save my dad. Right now. He needs our help. No way. It's just too dangerous. The best thing for our family is to get out of here. Of course you'd say that. You already tried running away once. Javi, I, I don't know if you heard us, but... I think I fucked it up with Eleanor. We can talk on the way. I, about that, I, I don't think I can leave this apartment with things like this between me and her. It's just not right. I know you must have at least heard something. I don't really want to get involved. There's not really anybody else I can talk to. Just shouldn't have pushed it with her like I did. Wasn't fair. Too much going on already, right? Javi, come on! Just give us a minute, pal. I'm sorry, buddy. I just... I don't know what to do. She doesn't want you, Trip. Get over it. Damn it! I thought you were my friend. Thought you'd get it. Javi, you're bleeding. Are you okay? Oh my god. Oh, damn it, Gabe! Does it fucking look like I'm okay? I'm sorry. Sorry. I started bleeding. I know, it's a thing. I've traveled with women before, and, and they all had it. What is it? I mean, like, why is it... I just don't understand. Oh, that. You'll get the hang of... It. How? It's exactly like anything else. It, this isn't exactly like anything else. <sighs> Wake up. Talk to me. <laughs> wow. That guy is really out of it. It looks like painkillers are in high demand. I wouldn't steal any medicine if I were you. It really doesn't go over well. Well, these could come in handy. Whoa there, Clem. It's just me. What the hell do you want? I know how pissed you are, Clementine. Spitting on David really got that message across. Believe it or not, I'm actually sorry about what happened. It wasn't easy for any of us. You have to believe that. Fuck off! David wanted you to have that. AJ drew it just after you... Now you're just screwing with me. No, Clem, we just... Am I supposed to just thank you for this? We just thought you'd want something to remember him by. <coughs> Plan for after that. You're strong, but that won't get you far if you don't know what you're doing. Oh, I'll keep fighting. You guys gave me no other choice. It's not time for that anymore, Clem. Your focus has to be on you now. <coughs> Kept me going in the worst of times. You'll find yours. I know you will. Someone or something. You people stole mine. You know that. You'll just have to find something new that... Shut the hell up! <coughs> Promise me you'll never lose that light. Please. It's what makes you special, Clem. Just go away already. Okay. 
I'll miss having you around, Clem. Are you leaving, or what? I hope the best for you out there, kid. Thought you were rotten in a cell with David. There any chance he got out, too? I hate to think about what Joan might do to him. It's none of your business. Javi, I have to know. I've been looking for too long. I can't lose him now. Not when I'm this close. All right, I'll do it. Well, where is he? He's... He's at the McCarroll Ranch. A few miles west of here. He's really alive. Don't forget to stick around to handle the after part. I don't want to become one of those monsters. Don't forget, Joan's looking for you and your friends. You better hope she doesn't find you. I saved this one for you. No, I've already got one. Jesus, Javi, is that blood on your shirt? You said it wasn't that bad. It isn't. How the hell did this happen? Oh, you're bleeding right through that bandage. It was Gabe's fault. Why don't you ask him what happened out there? I was just doing what had to be done. I'm the one who tells you what to do, not the other way around. We got it stitched up. It's fine. Thought you knew what you were doing. You're still alive, aren't you? I want to be the one to go after Dad. Just give me a gun and I'll do whatever. I know the town. I know what Dad's going to be thinking. Let the grown-ups come up with a plan, okay, Gabe? Because yours is going to be so much better than mine. If we get to save Dad, then getting hurt is worth it. It's worth dying for. This is more important to me than anyone else. I've got a gun, and I know how to use it. Could you do me a favor and stop showing off for everybody? Turns out you needed me after all, huh? I'm just saying, I know you didn't want me to come along. Just push the damn truck, all right? What do you think I'm doing? I'm doing all the work. You're the one trying to have a conversation here. That's more like it. Same way. I'd really like to know. Before things get crazy. We might not get another chance. <laughs> I'm sorry, Kate. I... Oh. God. I just... Can't see it. Between us. So... All those times you said stuff, I was just imagining it. Years together, on the road. The looks, the hints of something more. We're friends, Kate. I mean, hell, you're probably my best friend. But I don't see you as anything more than that. No, no, I don't believe it. You felt something, Javi. I know you did. But as soon as David was back in the picture, you got all weird. Fuck that. And fuck you, you fucking coward. Ah, Kate, come on. Don't talk to me. Not anymore. Javier! I'd heard you were planning to crash our little party. Why did you come on up here? Show your face to everyone. I'm sure these people would like to hear what you have to say. Fuck that. And fuck you, Joan. I don't have anything to say to someone who shit talks my family. Don't make this harder on yourself, Javier. We both know you killed Dr. Lingard. Why, Javi? Why would you do that to us? The only surgeon in a hundred mile radius, but you didn't care about that. Lingard saw what was happening in Richmond, what you were trying to do, and he didn't want any part of it. He asked me to spare him the sight of all this. You ask me? He's better off. Sorry if I don't take your word for it. Too bad you killed the only man who could back up your story. Isn't that right, Eleanor? That's... that's right. She said you were coming here today to take me out. Add to your total. 
don't know how you thought you were going to pull it off. Eleanor doesn't know what she's talking about. You really thought you could ride into town and stage a coup? With our own damn weapons? Something like that? I can't just let it go. You've put me in a no-win situation here. So I'm gonna do the same thing to you. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. However, Javi, I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. No! Hell no! Don't! Don't! Not after what they tried to do. You may be guilty of bringing them into this, but they chose to go along with it. This the kind of leadership you've got in store for Richmond? Torturing people with your stupid power games? Justice isn't a game, Javi. Your friend or your brother's lieutenant. Oh, come on! This is fucking stupid. You can't be serious. God damn you, Joe. One eternity later. Do the right thing, Harvey. How could you do this? So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. Let Ava live. David believes in her and so do I. Harvey! No! I fucking trusted you, Harvey. And now you're throwing me under the bus? You go to hell. Shoot her! Wait! I said don't shoot Ava! You did, but there's something else you need to understand. Betrayal. Joan, think about what you're doing! Ava's one of us! You can't fucking do this! This is fucked! I can do anything I want! You brought this on yourself! Do it! Joan! shot her god damn it now david it's your turn don't listen to them javi they're fucking butchers all of them shoot that bitch take her out she deserves it if you don't do it i fucking will go to hell joan Shooter. Oh, God. Javi, you've got to get over there before. 